What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now if you look here behind me, we've got a series of about a hundred docks that we've been hired to go out and inspect. Now this is something we do a couple times a year for, these, for this company. And so basically we've got to go up underneath the dock and check every single bracket where the docks are mounted together. You'll notice that there's not many poles out here at the end of the docks, so these docks are actually mounted together via brackets to kind of keep them together we're also out here on the main channel out here on lake norman what happens is as boats come by these docks get rocked around back and forth back and forth quite a bit so those brackets will actually either one break free or the bolts will just come undone so we get hired a couple times a year to come out here inspect them make sure they're good and tight and if they're not we've got to go in and wrench these down bolt by bolt and nut by nut just to make sure everything's good and secure but it's another cold morning that's all it's been this entire week for us is just blistering cold outside but we've got a lot of gear that we got to get out here today and we're going to get geared up now we're also going to be using this dive as a training dive for some of our public safety divers so even though this is a relatively simple dive we're not going to be very deep five ten foot deep for the entire dock system but we're also gonna be using it for a communication dive as well. So I'm gonna have a service guy up top using communications, and then myself and the two other divers will all have full face masks and comm units on, so we can use this as a training dive as well. Not just a salvage dive, but a training dive for our PSDs as well, and that way we can practice our comms back and forth. So it's gonna be an interesting day. We're gonna get a lot of work done. We're also gonna get some training done as well. But we're gonna get geared up. We're gonna jump in, see what we can get done today, and then I'll give you some final thoughts at the end of the video. All right, guys, so as we're getting geared up here, we're just going to strip down, get our dry suits on, get all our gear put together, do a good methodical gear check. Same thing we do on every single dive, whether it's a fun dive, a technical dive, a public safety dive, or even a work salvage dive like this. We just want to take our time. There's absolutely no reason to rush, uh, especially on this specific dive, so we're just taking our time here. We're going to go ahead and get geared up, walk down the uh, ramp here to the main dock system, and one thing that you will notice we're all doing different types of entry methods and I want to talk a little bit about why we do that on this particular uh, lake that we're on it fluctuates its depth quite regularly and so unsure of what the actual depth here is I'm choosing I'm the, actually the diver there in the orange dry suit I'm choosing to do a controlled seated entry just to be on the safe side and then once I confirm or verify that the depth is deep enough to do some other type of entry, whether say it's a rollback or even a uh, giant stride, then the other divers can choose whatever method is going to be appropriate for them. But typically our first diver in, if we don't have some type of sonar system, we'll always do a controlled seated. Here you can see the other two divers. They are simply just choosing to do a giant stride in. I've already verified once again there's no heavy debris or anything that's going to cause a hazard as they get into the water. But as our final diver uh, jumps in here, what we're going to be doing is discussing uh, exactly what it is we're going to be doing on this dive. And so we're just going to kind of give some pointers to each other real quick. The gentleman that you're actually looking at there, not me in the orange dry suit, but the other one, he's kind of new to helping us doing this particular dock system. So he's going to be our third diver, if you will. Myself, who you're seeing the camera angle from now, and my uh, backup diver who's also with me, which you'll also be seeing his footage it'll kind of jump back and forth basically what we're doing is just swimming over to each bracket that holds several uh, different braces together on the stock and we're just cleaning them off getting all the silt and dirt off of it checking to make sure that the uh, nuts and bolts are not rusted through and making sure they're nice tight and secure and we've got a hundred of these to do so i'm going to go ahead and tell you this video is going to be relatively short because i'm not going to sit here and make you watch us do this a hundred times over but we're just going to swim about eight foot in between each one and check each every single one make sure it's clean make sure it's not rusted through and make sure it's nice and secure i do want to talk a little bit about why we chose to use full face mask on this specific dive. Um, primarily, it was for safety concerns. We are not very deep. We're only about five to six foot deep. And this dock system is on the main channel uh, of the lake that we're at. 
So it's actually a, a highly populated lake, and there's constantly boats coming in and out um, of this particular dock system as well. So we chose to leave one of our surface crew members up top with communications, which there you can see me talking to him now. Um, we chose to leave him up top with a communication system, and then us uh, also using full face and communications just so that we knew when a boat would be coming in. Yes, we can hear it, but it's always nice to have uh, a surface crew member who can stop a boat from coming in, who are all, also can radio down to us and tell us to hold steady until that boat's kind of cleared the area. So in this particular situation, that's what we're doing. Now, as far as what you're looking at now, this is a set of braces that has broke free of the bracket. And all that we're wanting to do now is just kind of get it put back into place temporarily. Our third diver is going to swim over here in a minute. And of course, he'll loosen up the nuts and bolts. Uh, enough that the brace can actually go back in the bracket and then he'll tighten it back down but basically that's the job that's what we're doing on this particular job checking all the nuts and bolts making sure the brackets are good making sure all the braces are good and if we come across a situation like this then simply fix it this is something that we do on an annual basis um, for the owners of this dock system and that's basically all we're doing here as we come to the end of the dive, like I said, I kind of zoom very quickly through this because it's a hundred of these brackets we had to test, and I really didn't want to bore you guys to death with that. But as we come to the end, we're going to radio up, let our surface guy know that we're coming up, and of course he can let us know if it's safe, and then we're going to come up, kind of discuss the dive between each other, uh, see if we need to go back and maybe fix some of the brackets, or to see if any of the other divers had found some that... I personally didn't see but uh, we're gonna try to get out of the water as you can see there's a rock wall there behind us we're gonna have to climb up a lot of people may say well why don't you just use one of the ladders on the boats there at the dock well, that's private property we really don't want to get on somebody's private property without their permission so we're just gonna head over to the shoreline and walk up the rocks and go ahead and get our gear broke down and of course as always guys I'm gonna give you some uh, final thoughts here at the end All right, guys, so we're back at the shop now. We had a very successful dive. Uh, we were able to inspect the entire dock system. It took us about an hour grand total to swim around, make sure all the bolts were good. We did find a small part of the dock system that had broke free and was able to stick it back into the bracket and tighten it back down. But to end the video, I wanna talk a little bit more about the full face mask. Anytime you use these, just remember it's part of your kit, just like your BCD, your rig, your mask, your fins. You wanna make sure you take good care of it. If you take good care of your gear, it will take good care of you. As far as cleaning this guy, it's not very difficult. It's the same thing you would do with all your equipment, just fresh, clean water. Just a little bit of gear wash in there if you want to, just to disinfect it. I like to take a toothbrush and kind of scrub around all the nicks and crannies, if you will, just to get the dirt and debris out. I always want to take the battery out of the comm unit in the very unlikelihood event that it did take on some moisture. You don't want to leave that battery in there because it can corrode. So I like to take the battery out of the comm unit. And then, of course, just test your equipment every so often to make sure that it's still in good working order and that it's going to work when you need it to. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share this video. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it as quickly as I can and as honestly as I can. And guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.